2019 leaving our tire level projectiles question 3b the plane is inclined at an angle of 15 degrees down here to the horizontal a particle is projected from a point b above the plane you can see point p here with an initial speed of 20 and we are told that the angle is 60 degrees above the horizontal so before i go any further i'm going to draw a line parallel to this line going in this direction and with my alternate angles this one in here will be 15 degrees so my initial angle that i'm going to go use is 60 minus 15 so this one in here 45 degrees is what we're going to use as the angle of projection the point p is perp is a perpendicular is at a perpendicular distance of one from the inclined plane and the plane of projection is vertical and contains the line of greatest slope the particle strikes the plane at the point q so the first question is find the time taken time taken to get from p to q part one time taken We start these inclined questions by getting our acceleration. So this is G. So coming in this way, this angle will be 15. We're going to have G cos 15. And that's going to be in the J direction. And in the I direction, we will have G sine 15. And that's my I. So the direction or the distance traveled in the J direction is minus one, this one here. We're going down, so minus one. My initial velocity, if we would just write down our formula for us, ut plus a half at squared. My initial velocity in the J direction is the 45, so it's uh, 20 20 sine 45 times t plus a half by this acceleration here g cos 15 by t squared and that's equal to minus one the distance traveled in the j direction so if we tidy this up we're going to create a quadratic that we're going to type into our calculators so this one will give me 14.142 T. This one's going to give me let's just put my minus G in here. We're going down. This one's going to give me minus 4.733 T squared. So we're going to bring these two across. So 4.733 T squared minus 14.142 T minus 1 is equal to not so putting this information into your calculator for the quadratic formula is going to give a time of 3.057 seconds part two of this question we're asked for the speed of the particle when it's traveling parallel to the inclined plane so that's when the velocity of j is equal to zero so we fill that into v is equal to u plus a t we should be able to get a time which will enable me then to get so we'll use this to get take to get the time taken to get to that point and then we'll use that time with the velocity of i to get the speed traveling when it's parallel will be the speed in the i direction so we're going to get u which is 20 we had sine 45 didn't we sine 45 minus a well plus minus g times t that will be equal to zero so we're going to get t is equal to sorry my acceleration acceleration is i left out my cos 15 from up here g cos 15 
times t. So t is equal to, and that's what we're looking at, t is equal to 20 sine 45 divided by g cos 15. So if we type that into a calculator, we're going to get 1.49 seconds to get to that point where it's traveling parallel to the inclined plane. And then we use the velocity of i in the i direction. Again, we're going to use u plus a t. So the initial velocity was 20 by the cause of the angle that it was projected at, which was 45. And then we're going to say the acceleration was minus g. We can see here sine 15 going down this way in the i direction. g sine 15 times t, which was 1.49. And we just have to type this into our calculators. And it's going to give me speed in the i direction is 10.36 ms to the minus 1.